Well, hello, my name is John Proctor. If you didn't know who I was, I'm sure you do, if you were doing my classes. Um, and this one, what I want to do is show you how to go about doing phase test one. And uh, this is a series of lessons. And the first thing I want to do is show you how to create the screen uh, and how to put labels on and be able to move them about the screen. Because if you've ever tried to put labels on, you know they're sort of cast in stone, you can't move the blinking things. So I'm going to put a label on first. Um, so for that I need to go to the toolbox. I need to choose, um, first of all, a panel. We'll see why in a minute. So grab the panel, hold the left button down and drop it onto the screen. And as you can now see, there's the panel. The next thing I want to do is put a label on top of that panel. So I hold the left button down, grab the label and hopefully it will drop straight on top of the panel and now you can see the labels there. Now as you may or may not know you can't move the label it has no method of just drag and drop in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the um, format and redo it. So I've now clicked on the panel rather than the label. If I then go to format and choose position and I'm going to choose absolute now you know if you try to do this with um, the label it, it doesn't give the option to do that right now I've done that I can make the panel a bit smaller so I'll, I'll just drag it in a bit and hopefully if I move that now you can see it moves the label with it isn't that good yeah so if you've ever been struggling with how to do that that's how to do it right um, just to go over what's required for the phase test uh, what you're supposed to be do is enter values in here so I'll put in sort of 9 click the add button and it puts it into the list box say 3, or uh, 4 sorry put it into the list box I don't know what number, 7 the list box 13, unlucky for some into the list box I'll put one more number in 23 say and what you want to be able to do is to put in a minimum number which I'll say is what 9 and a max number 13 and it should show all the numbers like 9, um, 7 and 13 and when it's done that it should display them in this list box on the right let's try and see if it does have a look and there you go look 9 and 13 oops that's right should have done 7 as well oh no 7 is below 9 isn't it okay that's what we're supposed to do and that's what we're going to attempt to do. Now the thing we need to do is we need to have to begin with the label which we've got here, let's move this up so you can see a label, this one says raw data or whatever you want you think is most appropriate. We need a list box and we need a text box. So we need a text box to add the information in from the keyboard and put it into the list box and we need a button. So that's what we're going to attempt first of all. So here we are, we've got our label uh, we should really rename the label and we can go to the right hand side right hand side which is the solution explorer make sure we click the label and not the panel so I'll click the label and you can see down here the ID says label 1 well that, that, isn't, that isn't satisfactory, you must give it a proper name so I'm going to call it LBL what? Um, data say, ok there we go, backspace it LBL data now for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to move the, ex the Solution Explorer over so I can see maximum screen. And now I need a list box. And there's one here, so I uh, hold my left button down and drag it onto the screen. And again I've got the, pro the problem of moving it about the screen, as it stands it won't. So what I'm going to do is go on to Format again, and click Position, and choose Absolute and now I can move my list box oops, not size it, not size it, move it there we go and I'll put it just there, that should be alright and again I go over to my solution explorer and I have to rename that as well it's called this box one again that isn't that isn't acceptable 
by DMU standards it must have proper naming convention. So I'll name this what? LST data. LST data. Oops. Is that done? Close to the text box. So left down as usual, drag it across, click it, format it. Position absolute. Again drag it. I'll drag it down here. Name it. TXT, I don't know. Input. It's as good as any. Uh, move my solution out the window. I'm only doing this, I mean you won't have to do this. This is only because I, I, I'm constricted by the screen size. If I make it any bigger or it, so Okay, that, that's the end of this uh, first section. Um, if you go on to lecture five, we'll, we'll continue. Thanks for watching. Okay, that, that's the end of this uh, first section. Um, if you go on to lecture five, we'll, we'll continue. Thanks for watching.